Welcome back, everybody. It's still a challenging environment for startups, but it's a good time of year to be in the shipping business. And this week, John Ford brings us up close with the CEO of a company trying to simplify e-commerce shipping by focusing on shipping labels, John. Yes, uh, Laura Barron's Wu is co-founder and CEO of Shippo. It's a late stage startup that reached unicorn status during the pandemic's online shopping boom. The company helps small businesses offer the most affordable and efficient shipping options and makes money on business subscriptions and usage volume. Laura and her co-founder started the company after their first idea, an online store showcasing designers, flopped. Like, can we build a, market, a curated marketplace for people to discover those products? And um, yeah, it, it didn't take off. Um, but as, as part of that, we did a lot of shipping ourselves. Um, we were taking on the inventory risk and shipping out of our own living rooms and realized just that shipping is really hard to do. Like you have to stand in line at the USPS store. It's only open at certain hours. You don't get a ton of advice um, there either. And then we were faced with this problem ourselves and suddenly it clicked. Uh, Shippo is now adjusting to the turbulent economy. The company laid off 20 percent of the workforce last month and is focusing on helping its core North American customers now save money instead of surging larger customers, serving larger customers or expanding overseas. This year, it is really much more about cost saving and making sure that, you know, like shipping costs are reasonable, that um, there's, yeah, our customers are focused on that part significantly more than, I don't know, expanding into another country or adding another functionality. So that's been a big change in our, in our value prop um, that resonates with our customers. Everyone was operating under the assumption that capital is cheap, grow at all costs, grow as fast as you can. And um, that's been like, as you think, a big reset, just like we're, we're trying, uh, I think everyone in tech is making sure that they have enough capital to last until early 2025, much more focused on um, efficient growth and a, a path to profitability. And Laura also told me Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping was strong, which was a relief for her and others. But like you heard her say, she's preparing to survive two plus years without raising new capital. And I just heard from John Thompson, the investor who's also on Microsoft's board, Rubrik's board, same thing. He's expecting startups to be able to survive for two years without raising Didn't more capital. Didn't they just recently raise $150 million in, in capital? Something they did. Like, they did. They so did. they may be able to ride that wave. They can, but they're sure trying to preserve correctly. It. Yeah. Is there bread and butter providing for small businesses the technology to create shipping labels? It's shipping labels and options for the most efficient type of shipping for the area where that small business wants to ship. So kind of making a marketplace of here's exactly how you, you want to get You should use it this provider, the USPS or UPS or FedEx for this and so on and so forth. Lowest cost, fastest and delivery. And I suppose integrating with the payment platform or the ordering platform is a big part of this, which is why a shipping label company gets a billion dollar valuation, which exactly. sounds on its face preposterously high. <laughs> right, but when you look at something like Shopify, which has become this platform where small and medium businesses can offer their services more broadly, okay, you sold it, now you gotta get it there. What's the most efficient, reliable way to do that and continue in your business? So Shippo's one of those providers layering on top of that SMB revolution that's happening now where they're able to get more enterprise grade tools to get their smaller business growing. I love it. You know, this is yeah. my favorite segment, but, but do they have a moat? I mean, are there other shipping label startups that are trying to do the same thing? There are some, but their moat is that deep relationship with the shipping providers also, hmm. and the technology on the back end that allows them to be reliable, the apps that they've built that work on top of these platforms. Fascinating. I'll All be right, thinking John, about that you. when those packages yeah. come at the door. John, thank you very much.